There are seven continents on our world, and each of them has their own special set of terrain, people, and animals that live upon them. And when most people think about dangerous animals, they don't really think of the ones in the air, because very few of them attack humans. Some do reside in the waters, but you can easily avoid that depending on where you live. However, land animals, well, they can be all around you at any time if you're in the right spot, and you won't want to mess with them. But which of them are the worst of the lot? Here now are 20 most powerful land animals in the world. Number 20. The Komodo Dragon I'll begin with one that you honestly don't have to worry about all that much, unless you live near specific islands in Indonesia. After all, the Komodo dragon only lives there, and many attempts to bring them to other parts of the world have been met with a lot of issues, mainly in that they get sick and they don't tend to breed while they're in captivity. So, unless you're in that region of the world, you're probably safe. That's a good thing because the Komodo dragon is a creature that you don't want to mess with for a multitude of reasons. It's true that unlike part of its namesake, it does not breathe fire or have scales that are tough as diamonds, but it does have plenty to make it the apex predator of its islands. For example, the Komodo dragon is over 10 feet long at times and can weigh up to 200 pounds, and that's a whole lot of bulk to be throwing around, and it absolutely dominates the prey that it hunts through that power and size. What's more, though it's highly debated, there is another so-called ability that the Komodo dragon has in its toxic bite. Again, this is highly disputed, but many lizards like it do have toxic saliva and will use it to kill prey. So when you hear someone say that they're seeing the Komodo dragon and eating everything in sight. The reason is because they know how to kill prey and they can kill it in many ways. The good news for humans though is that they tend to not like us in the way that makes them skittish when we approach. They'd rather run from us than deal with us and that honestly makes sense. While we're not any bigger than the Komodo dragon itself, we are an unknown element, so it's best to be better safe than sorry. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Grizzly Bear now we'll jump to something that many people know not to screw with because they may end up being on the menu. Unlike the Komodo dragon, the grizzly bear is absolutely more than willing to hunt you down if they feel threatened by you. These bears often have a hair trigger and you don't want it to be tripped. Now obviously each bear is different in terms of size and weight, but the average grizzly bear can be over 6 feet tall and weigh around 700 pounds. That's in regards to the males. The twist is that the biggest one that was ever recorded was actually 1,200 pounds. Plus, if the grizzly bear was ever to rear up on its hind legs, which is more than willing to do, it'll look even bigger and scarier. But arguably, the most dangerous part about the bear is not its bulk, it's the speed at which it can run. Because despite being around six to 700 pounds, it can actually cruise at 35 miles per hour, which is why most nature guides will tell you not to run away from them because they will catch you and they will likely kill you as a result of the chase. Another thing that makes the bear so dangerous is that they're pretty clever. That's right, they're smarter than your average bear, but seriously, they do know how to use their appendages for a variety of things that will blow your mind. They know how to open doors, get things out of trees, and they're not afraid to wreck things to get what they want, and after they murder you, they may well pick up your cell phone and post a selfie to your Instagram. If the bear wanders into your campsite, it's likely because it smells something that it wants, so that's why they tell you to put the food out of reach. Either way, you don't want to mess with them, because they will definitely mess with you back. Number 18. The Rhino Rhinos are a breed of animal that you should be both cautious about and sympathize with heavily. I'll start with the former. The rhino is easily one of the most dangerous animals that you could come across in Africa and other locations. They're incredibly territorial, they'll charge at you with their horn pointed right at you if they even think you're going to attack, and part of the reason for this is that rhinos have horrible eyesight. They'll often at times charge at things that aren't even moving just because they feel that they are. 
What's more is that due to their bulk, which depends on the species that can be anywhere from a couple of thousand pounds to nearly 10,000 pounds, and it makes them basically a tank that's charging right at you. Their length is quite impressive. Certain species can even reach up to 13 feet long. But sadly, that's where the other part of the equation comes in. The rhino species has been hunted down over the years for their ivory horns. They're of great value in certain parts of the world, and people are not afraid to go and poach them illegally to make a quick buck. Now sadly, that has greatly depleted the rhino population, and as a result of that, many of the species have gone extinct or on the edge of extinction. Considering how big the population numbers were before all the poaching began, that's a crime in and of itself. Yes, there are many efforts to try and preserve the various rhino species, but efforts are slow and limited due to population numbers. So just let that be another reason that you leave them alone, they have enough to worry about. Number 17. Muskox now, if I'm talking about a standard ox, you could easily see why they would make the list of strong land animals, but I'm talking about a special breed of them known as the musk ox. Musk oxen live in the tundra regions of the high arctic, and they're grazing animals, more closely related to sheep and goats than they are to oxen. Which is kind of ironic, but you probably didn't know that such creatures also lived in the frozen north. Not unlike the rhinos, the musk ox were once much wider spread of a species. But overhunting by the natives of these areas would lead to their population numbers dwindling heavily. A sad yet familiar story for many creatures of the world. They're about four to five feet tall at the shoulders and appear to be larger than they are due to the thick, long coat and large head which they feature. If you were to compare them to the standard bison, you'd see why they really don't stack up in the girth category. In fact, they'll look as though they're half the size. But the reason that they get on this list, well, that's because they have to survive some of the most brutal temperatures and conditions that you've ever heard of. Living in the tundra is not exactly easy, yet these musk oxen have been doing it for countless numbers of years. In the winter months, they'll turn to roots, dwarf willow, and dwarf birch, along with lichens, mosses, and other vegetation that they can access beneath the snow. What's more, they're also known for making groups that they can bond in and survive alongside during the cold times. In fact, up to 60 of them can band together to survive the tundra, showing their willingness to cooperate. They're smart creatures that know the lands that they're on, and that gives them great strength and survivability. Number 16. The Green Anaconda Behold the longest snake in the world today, the green anaconda. Now, there is some debate about the true size of these snakes, and there are snakes out there that are longer than this one, but in terms of pure weight and overall size, the green anaconda is the king. The longest recorded one in history was that of 30 feet in length, and that one was weighed by a doctor who had met over a thousand anacondas. You can bet that they were amazed by the weight of 551 pounds. That's one big snake. Now, the good news for you is that unlike many snakes of the world, the green anaconda is not venomous. If it was, we would all be doomed for various reasons. But that doesn't mean that it's not deadly, because you have to remember the title of the video you're watching. The reason that it's so powerful is that it's going to use its length and its girth to wrap itself around its prey and literally squeeze the life out of them. Yes, it's true. You can imagine that you're the one being squeezed by the thing. You try to wriggle out of it, but it's no use. You feel your muscles and bones tighten because of the pressure. The oxygen begins to leave your lungs can't do anything but wait for it all to end. Now, that's basically what happens. The weight of the snake constricts the prey until they're literally lifeless. Then they'll swallow the prey whole and just wait a while for it to be digested. They'll even dislocate their own jaw just so that they can get their mouths around the prey that they want to eat. And before you ask, no, they don't typically go after humans because eating anything that's too large could actually kill them. But that doesn't mean it couldn't happen. Number 15. Leaf Cutter Ants At first, it may seem odd that I'm putting a bug on the list. After all, it's an insect. It's tiny, and you could probably squash it without much thought or issue. But as in all things, there is context, and the context of this one is important. You see, ants do have one of the most social societies of the world. They have a caste system where everyone knows their roles, and they'll do them to perfection for the glory of the colony and the queen. And for leafcutter ants, they have many different roles that they can take on. 
According to their size, ants fulfill specific roles such as defenders of the colony, caretakers of the young, gardeners, foragers, and leaf cutters. Incredibly, there are even tiny ants that straddle the back of larger working ants and defend them from carnivorous flies. Like I said, they're a very special species that know how to work together to get it all done. What's more, they're also intelligent. They know not to get leaves from just one plant or type of vegetation, and they also have a pesticide inside of them that will allow them to protect their fungus gardens. Yes, they do have gardens, and they take care of them very well. If you still don't think that they're strong, well, you only need to look at their mandibles that they use to chop up the leaves that they bring back to the colony. They're also so strong that it's enough to resist mind control. Yes, really, there are certain funguses and creatures out there that will try to infect the ants and use them for various things, and thus the ants have gotten the adaptations needed to overcome such issues. Number 14. Hippos now, some of you may be thinking, wait, aren't hippos an aquatic creature? Well, you would only be half right because they're officially labeled as semi-aquatic, and that means that they live both on the land and in the water, and if you go to Africa, you're going to see them on both sides of that coin. Which is a problem for everyone, because hippos are known to be one of the most violent and aggressive and dangerous animals in the world. I know, it's kind of surprising, but when you look at what they have to offer, they don't exactly mess around. At their max length, they can sometimes reach 17 feet long and be over 5 feet tall at the shoulders, weighing in at over 4,000 pounds. Plus, they can lug all of that mass around at about 20 miles per hour in speed. So in short, you don't really want to get the thing riled up. Sadly, that's something that's very easy to do, even if you don't know the hippo is there. When it's in the water, it's going to blend into its environment and rush boats and attempt to flip them over. And if it doesn't like something on the land, well, it'll simply charge at it. You know, things like tents, and they'll cause a stampede. The accounts of these attacks are quite frightening, and just as bad is their bite. A bite which is much more than enough to kill a person and break a whole lot of objects in half. And if you don't believe me, one man actually had a pet hippo, and he thought that they would be best friends forever. He even rode on him on occasion. But one day, that hippo went off and literally bit him in half. So yeah, hippos are pretty terrible, and you don't want to mess with them. Number 13. The African Elephant Picture an elephant right now in your mind. Which one are you thinking about? Perhaps one that you've seen in a documentary, or from a story, or a fictional piece of media like Dumbo or Horton Hears a Who. Either way, when it comes to elephants, many people have said that they can be naturally nice to human beings, and at times, in the right scenarios, and with the right people, that can be true, at times. But in the wild, all bets are off, and there's a reason why elephants are so terrifying if you get on their bad side. The African elephant is the largest mammal in all of the world, and it can be 24 feet long when you include the trunk and over 11 feet tall, weighing in at 13,000 pounds. And if they get on a stampeding fit or try to press down on you with one of their feet, well, the sound pop wouldn't even begin to describe what would happen to you. Plus, their trunks are incredibly powerful and versatile, and they don't just use them to grab tree branches. They can actually grab you and take you for a ride that you're never going to forget no matter how much you'd like to. Elephants can be very territorial, and if you're near one of the mothers, they're going to attack you for even looking at their children in the wrong way. Now, sure, if you're at a preserve and they're used to the humans, they'll probably be kind. They'll eat the food with you and let you ride them. But try to do that when they're not used to humans, and it's probably nice knowing you. Number 12. Lions The lion is a symbol of strength in many cultures across the world. Many legendary heroes wore lion skins and had their house with the emblem of a lion, and it's not hard to see why. That's because lions, whether male or female, are one of the most powerful creatures on the planet bar none. The male lions are said to have a strike force that's up to 22,800 pounds, and the lionesses are no slouches either. In fact, when it's time to feed, it is the females who go out on the hunt and not the males. The males will get the first bite at times, but it's the ladies who do all of the hunting and use in tandem strikes to get the prey they want. 
Plus, lions do have razor-sharp claws and vicious teeth that can tear rivals apart and rip their prey to shreds. Their power comes from their muscles and size, and they can be over 16 feet long, weighing about 500 pounds. Their bodies are basically pure muscle, and that's why they're the kings. Now, despite what certain recent movies and TV shows would tell you, they do not actively go after humans, but that doesn't mean that you'll want to risk it when you go into one of their territories. Lions do have a pride, and that pride's going to take you out if they feel like it. Number 11. Crocodiles now let's talk about one of the creatures that, if you see them on land, you're likely in a bad place. That's because crocodiles are another creature that are semi-aquatic and for predatory reasons. They love to slink into the waters of rivers, lakes, watering holes, and more, but then they wait for their prey to get close. And once they're in range, they're going to lash out with such a deadly speed and bite down on their prey with such great force. If they do get a good chomp upon them, they'll drag them into the water and drown them out so that they can feast. Crocs are so powerful, in fact, that they don't mind going after creatures that are much bigger than they are. They just have a meal and they won't discriminate. Now, they're also pretty long and heavy, measuring at times over 20 feet in length and weighing over 1,200 pounds. Number 10. Dung Beetle this is the last of my ironic strength choices, I promise, because if you think about what it means to be strong, you think about how a creature uses its body and strength to go beyond what its body should do. Like when a person can lift a car off of someone when the adrenaline is going. For the dung beetle, they don't need to rely on such things because they have the inherent ability to move things that are 250 times their natural mass, and they do it on the regular. That's a whole lot, and they do it by rolling it into wherever they want it to go. Add to that, they can also pull 1,141 times their own body weight if they're a certain species, and they can also push it and pull it and bury it. It really doesn't matter. They have the strength to do more than they should, and that's both impressive and scary. Number 9. Tigers now here's a fun fact for you. While the lion is the king of the jungle, the tiger actually beats it in size, and not by a small margin. As noted before, a lion can be up to 6 feet long and weigh about 500 pounds, but a tiger can be about 13 feet long and weigh about 700 pounds. That's quite the difference. And what's more, unlike lions, the male tigers are more than willing to do the hunting on their own, even using stealth tactics to get their prey should they feel the need. <laughs> The only downside about the tiger species is that they're another who is on the endangered species list. About 4,500 tigers do remain in the wild, and there are others who are in captivity or in preserves. That's a good thing, for the record, but the fact that these powerful creatures have only thousands left in their numbers is both sad and wrong. Number 8. Gorillas now, as you likely know, there are many different types of primates out there. Not unlike humans or certain other animals, they come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. But if you want the alphas of the primate group, well, you simply have to talk about the gorillas. These beasts can be almost 6 feet tall, weighing in at 600 pounds, and they're another type of animal that doesn't mind being social and living in groups. The head of that group is known as the silverback. In terms of strength, the beliefs about them do differ. However, they've been shown to be capable of throwing over 1,700 pounds with minimal effort. They're also fierce protectors of their pack and will tear shreds into anyone who threatens them. Just one look at a gorilla and their bulk, and you can see why there's something not to be messed with. Number 7. Jaguar yeah, now I'm continuing on with big cats, but this time around, it's one that's sometimes forgotten when you compare them to lions and tigers. Make no mistake though, jaguars are fierce hunters, and they're not afraid to go and get their prey even if it's out of their weight class. Unlike the tiger or the lion, the jaguar prefers a sleeker and more lean form to attack with, but they don't sacrifice their size to get it, growing 6 feet in length and weighing about 350 pounds. Where they really beat their big cat brethren is in the speed department. Thanks to their body type, jaguars can reach about 50 miles per hour. Yes, a certain other cat is faster than them, but that's not really the point. That means that between their size and speed, they can basically catch anything that they want and devour it soon after. Number 6. Hyenas 
Are you getting flashes of the Lion King, hearing Be Prepared, and watching the hyenas march in formation? Yeah, that movie did a lot to make hyenas seem like they're demonic and rabid in nature, but to be fair, they can be rather dangerous creatures to be around, but you could also say that they've just adapted to the environment in which they're in. Their adaptations go farther than you think. They love using their teeth to kill prey over their claws, and in fact, their claws were adapted so that they could run faster and turn on a dime. The bite force, though, well, that comes with 1,100 pounds per square inch, and that's enough to snap bone two inches wide with ease, meaning that they can kill you, and then they'll drink your bone marrow later if they want. And yes, they do laugh, but that's just how they communicate with each other. Number 5. Bison not to be confused with a buffalo, which are totally different, bison are one of the staples of the American Midwest, and they're still a revered creature as a result of their usefulness and strength. If you've ever seen one up close, you're going to notice how big they are pretty quickly. The largest species of bison can grow to be about 11 feet in length, almost 7 feet in height, and weigh about 2,800 pounds. That size, mixed with their muscular bodies, makes them incredibly dangerous if you do provoke one. So don't forget, bisons have horns, and they're known to outrun horses. So as the equation goes, force equals mass times acceleration. And for the bison, that ends up equaling a lot of strength. Number 4. English Mastiff Now I'm going to talk about two different dog breeds in the final four entries, starting with the domestic dog species, because that's a whole other category. After all, some people do want a large and powerful dog to protect them, their family, and their homes, but while some may think of a Doberman or perhaps a Great Dane, it is the English Mastiff that is the biggest dog around. <coughs> They tend to be 3 feet in height and weigh anywhere around 230 pounds, which is a whole lot of dog. Plus, if you do get a variation of the Mastiff, like the Tibetan kind, well, you have to account for their enormous amounts of fur, which is going to make them seem even larger. But yes, their power is not something to mock, and they're known to be protective, so do enjoy one of them if you want to go that route. Number 3. American Alligator the other side of the coin with crocodiles is that of the alligator, and the American alligator is one that many people in the United States know to fear and avoid the jaws of. They might not be as large as one of the biggest crocs, however, the American alligator can at times get up to 15 feet in length and be anywhere around 1,000 pounds. Only the black caiman is the larger of the family. Adult American alligators have held the record as having the strongest laboratory-measured bite of any living animal, and that can measure up to 13,172 newtons, whatever that means. It's a lot. Granted, I'm sure that the lab doesn't get all the animals they want to test, but that bite could be enough to kill you or even hold someone or something in place for them to do what they want with it. Oh, and you know the whole gator roll thing? It is real, so don't let it happen to you. Number 2. Wild Boar The wild boar is a creature that you may want to avoid because they're not afraid to charge at anything and cause a whole lot of problems while doing it. You might know of times when boars have destroyed crops and entire environments just by running around, and that's a power that can easily get out of hand. They're able to carry out that destruction because they're over 6 feet long, 4 feet tall, and weigh up to 220 pounds. Their compact bodies allow them to overturn rocks that are half their size with no effort, and when they do charge, they like to go for the legs. Number 1. The Wolf It's honestly a bit poetic and ironic that we have saved the wolf for last, because the wolf is one of the most misunderstood and misrepresented animals in the world today. They're touted as being a devil dog or a symbol of fear, when in fact they just want to be left alone and live their best lives. That shouldn't be so hard to ask for, right? However, they've been labeled as monsters and hunted down to near extinction at times, which is a true tragedy. That being said, the fear that you might have towards wolves is not unfounded. There have been many attacks on people by wolves over the years, and if they were to sink their teeth into you, you're absolutely going to get hurt, if not worse. Wolves do have a bite pressure of basically 400 pounds per square inch, and that's more than enough to rip you to shreds or even tear off a body part if you're not careful. And if they do bite you in the wrong place, you could easily get murdered. Plus, despite what the saying will tell you, wolves do not prefer to be alone. 
They love their packs and are very social animals. So if you do pick a fight with one, you're likely picking a fight with the entire pack and they'll descend upon you and rip you to shreds. But if you do give them the respect, showcase that you're not a threat, and have a little bit of sense, you might get out of there alive. Wolves are not monsters, but they will protect what's theirs. That's all from the realm of land animals that are incredibly scary due to their power and ability. Which of these land animals have you seen up close, and which ones do you hope you never see? Do you know of any others that should be on this list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.